Hi guys, this is Ms. Trejo, and today I'm going to do a video for you guys on shadows and Earth's rotation. So we talked about um, how Earth rotates on its axis every 24 hours and how that helps create the day and night cycle. Now in this video, we're going to touch a little bit about Earth's rotation and how that um, makes it seem like the sun is moving when the sun does not move. It just looks like it's like the sun is moving because Earth is rotating. And you know, as Earth is rotating on its axis, it's also moving or revolving around the sun. So now, we're going to see how the sun's apparent movement in the sky helps create the shadows. Now, before I jump into this and the activity that I want you guys to do, I first want to start by saying that the sun rises on the east. And now here I have a compass which indicates the direction in which an object is. For example, if the sun was over here, then we would say that the sun is north. If it's on this, this side, we can say that the sun is east. It's on the east. If it would be under here, then we would say that the sun's direction is south. Or last but not least, if it is on this side of the compass, we would say that it is on the west side. So now, a way that I remembered the, the order in which they went, north, east, south, and west, was with the saying that was taught to us in school. Never eat soggy waffles. <laughs> so never eat soggy waffles helped me remember north, east, south, and west. Now guys, back to what I was saying. So the sun rises on the east side. So you see how it's towards the east? Now, in the morning, if you go outside and you're trying to locate the sun's position or where the sun is at, you will see that it is on the east side. Well, maybe you don't have a compass with you, but wherever you see the sun in the morning, that tells you or that's an indication that that is the east side. Now, that is in the morning as the sun rises. So now, as the day goes by, it looks like the sun is moving, but technically the sun does not move. It just looks like it's moving because of Earth's rotation. So as Earth is rotating, remember guys, as Earth rotates, some parts of Earth receive sunlight and others don't. So as it's rotating, the part of the Earth that was receiving sun, sunlight, is moving towards nighttime. So whenever you see the sun uh, sunset, that is an indication that we're moving into nighttime. It looks like the sun is going to disappear. That is your signal that the sun is going to set and we're going to move into nighttime. So we're no longer going to be receiving light from the sun. So I want you to repeat this with me. The sun rises on the east in the morning and sets on the west in the evening. Okay, one more time. The sun rise. Oops. The sun rises. Ooh, it cropped my picture. Okay, there we go. The sun rises on the east and sets on the west. All right, guys. Now, like I said, the sun rises on the east. So, in the morning, Mr. Ho went outside. And she was trying to locate the sun's position. So since we're saying that the sun rises in the east, the sun's location in the morning was on the east side. So now, 
This picture here was taken at 8 a.m. Now, the sun's location was on the east side, towards the east, because it was still morning, the sun was still rising. So now, Mr. Home was standing right here. And look at the shadow that was created at that time. So now, shadows are created when an object, in this case, Mestrejo, is blocking the passage or the sunlight. So by me standing here, I was blocking the sunlight from going through because light cannot go through us. We are not a transparent object. Now, because I was blocking the sunlight, it created this long, 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 long shadow. Now, you guys know that Mr. Who is not tall. So, this was created by the blockage, by me blocking the sun's light. Now, let's see what happens as time goes by. Mr. Who went outside again at 9.30. Now the sun was still on the east side, but it was more up in the sky because it's still rising. Or it looks like it's rising, but because Earth's rotating, that's what's causing the sun to look as if it's moving. So now, at this time, I went and I stood in the same spot that I stood at eight in the morning. And now my shadow was not as long as in the morning. But one thing that I want you to see is that right now the sun's position is in the east, but the shadow that is created is towards the west. Okay, so sun is in the east, the shadow points towards the west. So whenever the sun is in the east, any object that is blocking the sunlight from passing through will create a shadow on the west side. Now, whoops, went a little too far. Okay, this next picture was taken at 12 p.m. So now, technically at 12 p.m., the sun should be directly on top of you. So now, because the sun is like in the middle of the sky or on top of you, or directly on top of you, your shadow is very short. And look at the shadow now. It's no longer pointing towards the west, like earlier during the day. Now it's right in front of me, and it's really short. So now, let's see what happens later throughout the day. So this picture now was taken at 2.30 p.m. So now my shadow is still not as long as it was in the morning when I went at 8 in the morning outside, but it's no longer directly in front of me, whoops, like this one. You see how this one at 12 was directly in front of me? Now at 2.30, it's slightly moving towards the east side. It's slightly moving or tilting towards the east side. Not tilting, but moving towards the east side. And the sun is moving now. Remember, it was in the middle or directly on top of me at 12. But now at 2.30, it's towards the west side towards the west side so now do you guys remember when the sun was towards the east like at 9 30 a.m our shadow created the shadow that was created by me was facing or pointing towards the west side now here the sun is moving from the east side to the west side and my shadow is moving slightly now towards the east. So now let's see what happens when I go outside later again. Now here we have this picture 
that was taken at 5 p.m. Ah, okay. Give me a second, guys. There we go. Okay, so this picture was taken at 5 p.m. Now, the sun appears to be more towards the west side. We're getting ready. We're almost getting to where the point where the sun is going to set because now it's 5 p.m., guys. And look at my shadow. It got longer, and now it's... You can see that the shadow is pointing towards the east. It's pointing towards the east, guys. So when the sun is on the west side, our shadow is going to be on the east. It's going to be on the opposite end. Now, for our last picture. This picture was taken <clears throat> at 645. So the sun was more towards the west side. It was getting, we're almost close to sunset, getting ready for nighttime where the sun, where we're no longer gonna receive light from the sun and we're gonna move into nighttime. But at this time we were still, the sun was still on the west side. So now my shadow was pointing towards the east. This picture I should have, rotated it more but it, it's like this guys okay should have rotated my picture but my shadow is pointing towards the east side so now let me see if i can rotate it all right so as we see throughout the day from the morning when the sun was in the east side, our shadow was on the west side. We're pointing towards the west. Midday, when the sun is directly or expected to be directly on top of you, our shadow is short and right in front of you. Now, as more time goes by, the sun looks as if it's moving towards the west side and our shadow now points towards the east, towards the east. And as we get closer to sunset time, the sun is lower on the west side and our shadow is long and is pointing to the east side. So now guys, you guys can do this activity you can go in, out in the morning and locate the sun and wherever the sun is, lo is located, that will tell you that that is the east side. Now, and track the size of your shadow throughout the day. So now some key things that I want you to remember is that the sun rises on the east and that is called sunrise when the sun is rising on the east. And as the day goes by, the sun looks as if it's moving, but it's not. The sun does not move. It is the Earth's rotation on its axis that causes the sun to look as if it's moving. Because we're moving, or the part of the Earth that is receiving sunlight is moving or rotating, and now it's gonna be, it's no longer gonna be receiving sunlight. We're going to move into nighttime. So now, the sun rises on the east and sets on the west. Again, the sun rises on the east and sets on the west. Now, remember, the sun does not move. The appearance of the sun's movement is caused by Earth's rotation on its axis. Now, if you try this activity, let me know and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye guys.